Marie Stacy Vogelsatz from Anger Meyer and Rogers. Today I'm going to talk to you about why people want to avoid probate. So one of the first questions I ask new clients when they come in is, have you ever been told you want to avoid probate? The answer is almost always yes. A friend or neighbor or family member has had some experience and have told the clients that yes, they absolutely want to avoid probate. So then my follow-up question is, do you know why you want to avoid probate? And usually people don't know why. So today I'm going to tell you the three main reasons why people avoid probate. The first reason is time. A probate administration tends to take about twice as long as a trust administration. The reason for that is probate is a formal court proceeding and it's cumbersome. We have to follow the court rules and the court timelines. A simple example of this is in every single probate case, we need to file a notification in the newspaper to notify creditors that the estate has been filed. This notification must run for three weeks. After those three weeks have passed, the judge gives any potential creditors up to four months to come in and file a claim. Even though this very rarely happens, in every single probate case, we've now wasted five months at the beginning of the case waiting around for any of these claims to come in. And there's no way around that. So even though the family might be ready to move on to the next step or want things to move faster, again, we're stuck with the court's timeline and the judge's timeline. In general, a probate can take 18 to 24 months to wrap up. The second reason people want to avoid probate is that it's costly. So just like a probate administration can take twice as long, it can end up costing the family twice as much money. The reason for this is that there are probate and court fees that need to be paid. There are other fees associated with the probate. So for example, posting that notice in the newspaper is not free. And then of course there are attorney fees. This probate process can be confusing and so most people end up hiring an attorney and attorneys are gonna charge for that. So again, it ends up being about twice as much if you have to go through a probate as opposed to if you didn't have to go through a probate. The last reason is simply because probate is a public court proceeding. And most people think, why would I put my family through a court proceeding if there is an easy way to avoid it? Nobody wants to go down to the courthouse or appear in front of the judge if they don't have to. A really easy way to avoid probate is with the use of a trust. If you have assets in a trust, you do not have to go through probate. Some other ways to avoid probate are with the use of beneficiary designations and with the use of joint ownership. If you'd like to explore options on how to avoid probate with your estate, please feel free to contact me today. Thank you so much for watching.